This is larger than life, new Milatonian, and two of her proudest achievements, daughters Luciana and Camilla. The talented trio made it to the final of the Chinese version of China's Got Talent. For most of us, appearing on telly is something we can only dream of. For Noon, it's all part of her very colourful life. It's also the culmination of a tough journey for the Armenian expat. It was 1995 and a beautiful Armenian nurse spent seven days caring for a sick Chinese worker. Deng Zhonggang hospitalised for severe pneumonia. Three months later, the couple married. One year later, they were blessed again with the arrival of their twin girls. For noon, life in Armenia was good. The daughter of a medical company manager and a doctor, hers was a comfortable existence. But Deng was homesick for his native China, so along with their daughters, they left a wealthy life in Armenia to fly thousands of miles to here. Zhengjiao village in northeast China's Shandong province. It was here the young bride's hopes soon turned to despair. Zhengjiao village was small and basic then, even by Chinese standards. Most families grew peanuts and wheat to earn a living. The most heartbreaking fact was that we didn't have enough money to send our girls to the kindergarten. A teacher asked me why we didn't send our daughters to school. I told her we couldn't afford the tuition fees. Washing was done in the river, and households had to make do with an outside toilet. Despite the difficulties, Noon adapted quickly to her new life. Within three months, she'd learned to steam bread, wash clothes on the riverbed, and cut wheat in the fields. Seeing her so capable of housework, my neighborhood all envied me for finding a hard-working wife. Determined to improve their lot, the couple set out to earn more money. Deng worked on construction sites in the nearest city, returning home once a month. And with the help of her parents, Noon bought two cattle, then chickens. Soon she was making 9,000 yuan, more than four times the average annual income in the village. And that's not all. Noon and Deng transformed their shack to this. A TV reporter came to my house. They said my country house was really amazing. It was the most beautiful house they had ever seen in local villages. Our curtains were handmade because we had no sewing machines. All the work was done by hand. Our decorations were of European touch. Our kitchen was also spotless. Neighbors started whether I cooked or not because they couldn't find any dirt. But still, Noon was determined to do more. In 2005, authorities of the nearby city of Rongcheng started pumping cash into the city port. Locals began setting up business there. Noon was one of them. Armed with a 50,000 yuan bank loan, she opened a coffee shop specializing in serving Russian sailors. Attracting ships from Russia, South Korea and Japan, each year more than 100,000 foreigners visit the port. To kickstart the cafe, business savvy Noon, aided by her mum, cooked and served free food for one month. Business flourished. So much so, Noon opened a restaurant and employed a Russian manager to handle the business. She sent her girls to high school, bought a car and a laptop. The development of Rongcheng and the Weihai city has been vast and fast in the past 10 years. It has been completely changed. At that time, there were only one floor brick houses in the countryside. But now many villages have been urbanized. Seventeen years ago, Noon's worried mother told her daughter to come back if she couldn't find happiness in China. Her fears have proved unfounded. I love China. I'm no talking big. I'm always an honest speaker, even on TV programs. The Chinese people are very kind. In China, if you want to do business, if it's legal, you can do it. Her appearance on that talent show has planted the seed for another sought-after success. 
Now 17, Luciana and Camilla are studying performance at a local art school. Now our daughters have grown up. We pin all our hopes on our daughters. They love performance and we hope they can develop well in this direction. In recent years, news of Noonan Deng's unique love story has spread far and wide. Despite her successes and random TV appearances, she says it's the simple things which bring the most pleasure. And her family still spends time in the village she arrived at all those years ago. Life in the countryside is easy and comfortable. You have pleasures in the cities. But in the countryside, I feel refreshed.